I was just a child when the stars fell from the skies. But I remember how they built a cannon to destroy them. And in turn how that cannon brought war upon us. War was an abstract idea, nothing more than a show on TV. As a child, I only saw it as something that happened in some faraway land. Until that final day of summer, One day while on my way to school, I looked up in the skies. A sound like distant thunder. In the blue skies far above me, contrails drew dizzying circles around in a crazy waltz. A battle in the beautiful skies far away. I could not tear my gaze away from them. swiftly into the sky. One fleeing plane fell out of the skies, spiraling and spewing orange flames to crash by the cape. The same cape where my family lived. Now they only live in my memories of days past. The victor circled around to confirm the kill. And on his craft, there was a large number 13 emblazoned in yellow. I will never forget this. The Allies retreated across the ocean before the onslaught of the enemy. Our little town in the heart of the mainland fell into deep isolation. Four years after the planet fall of the Ulysses 1994 XF04 asteroids, Stonehenge, the erosion weapon of mass destruction, was originally built to shoot down asteroids. Upon discovering its potential as an anti-aircraft weapon, the erosions ruled the skies over the mainland. The ISAF's attempts to destroy Stonehenge through airstrikes failed. As a result, strategic positions on the mainland were lost. This in turn forced ISAF to evacuate from the east coast to North Point. ISAF GHQ is regrouping its remaining combat forces at North Point. However, the Erusians control most parts of the mainland, and they have forward deployed bombers to Wrigley Air Base, a former ISAF facility. This bomber force will attempt to deal a lethal blow to the ISAF at North Point from this strategic position. Here is the current SIDREP and your orders for deployment, effective immediately. Enemy agents destroyed our early warning radar network, allowing several dare bombers to penetrate our airspace. 
In 15 minutes, we expect this bomber formation to strike Allen Ford Air Base and then move on to targets at North Point. Our air defense forces are extremely weak at this point in time. Hence, our GHQ is a sitting duck. It is mission critical that you destroy the bombers and neutralize the threat before they get past Newfield Island. Remember, you are the first line of defense for North Point, and the fate of ISAF lies in your hands. Make sure to thank him. That's a roundup. Let's go on home. Thanks to your efforts, the enemy bomber strike was averted. However, our victory will be meaningless should you fail the next mission. The war seemed to unfold in the blink of an eye. I don't remember exactly when the forces from the west occupied my town. I was too busy scanning the skies day after day, waiting for Yellow 13 to reappear. Before I knew it, Everything changed. The language they taught us at school. Our friendly local sheriff disappeared and was replaced by foreign MPs. In the beginning, some people secretly tuned into broadcasts from North Point on their parabolic antennas. But as time passed, the broadcast no longer came in. 
Maybe the satellites were destroyed. All non-military computer networks were shut down. Gasoline was rationed to civilians. Though we lived in the 21st century, we were reduced to using crystal radios and horse-drawn carts. I moved in with my uncle in town, who used to be a taxi driver. Out of gasoline and out of work, my uncle did nothing but to drown himself in drink. I earned my keep by playing the harmonica in the town bar, the one thing I was good at. I'd play for sullen occupation soldiers in exchange for their charity and loose change, and use the money to support my uncle and myself. My uncle trash-talked the barkeep who catered to the enemy soldiers, but he never refused the money I brought home. As for myself, I had a crush on the barkeep's only daughter, who was a little older than me. Another day passed, yet still no sign of the fighter plane Yellow 13 in the skies above our town.